Lightroom CC now has the ability to help you quickly find faces and images, making it much easier to find and tag people in photos. Not only can Lightroom detect faces, it can then recognize similar faces to help you tag the same person when they appear in multiple photographs. In the grid view, I'll click on the People icon. Lightroom looks at all of the images in the folder and determines if there is or is not a face in each photo. Lightroom then displays all of the faces in the Unnamed People view here. It shows you a thumbnail of each of the faces that it detects, and it stacks the images that it has identified are the same person. If you want to verify the stack, you can click on the number of the stack. Since we can see that everyone in here is the same person, I'll click on the stack again in order to collapse it. Then I'll name that person. When I tap Return or Enter, the named person gets moved from the unnamed people to the named people area. I can go ahead and name the next person since it's the same person. I'll go ahead and start naming the second person and you can see that Lightroom will auto-complete it for me. As you name the same person again and again, Lightroom will then start suggesting that person by entering their name below their thumbnail. Now all I need to do is tap the Return or Enter key in order to name those instances. Now here I have a different person, and in order to name these all quickly, I'm going to select all of the different thumbnails that show my friend Donna. That way when I click and type in Donna, all of those images will get Donna as a keyword. I'll go ahead and do the same thing for my friend Tony by selecting all of the images and then typing in Tony. We can see that Lightroom is continuing to make suggestions. I can click on the check mark here in order to add those. Or if I wanted to drag and drop them, I could select the thumbnails from the unnamed people and drag them on top of the named person. Here I have two more, so I'll drag and drop those as well. If the image is obviously not a person, then I can reject it by clicking on the X icon. This image of my grandfather, I'll go ahead and name. This image, however, I'm not sure who the person is or what photograph it's in. In order to check, I can double click on it and it will show me the entire image. So it happens to be in the image of my grandfather, who I want to have a tag, but this bystander I don't know, so I'll just tap delete. Now in order to return back to People View, I can either click on the People icon or I can tap the O key. If I move to another folder, Lightroom will automatically start detecting faces because I'm in this People View. If I wanted Lightroom to look for faces throughout my entire catalog, I could click on the Identity Plate and then I could unpause the face detection to have Lightroom look throughout my entire catalog. All right, let's go ahead and select the images here that I want to name. We can see that Lightroom starts to auto-complete, and then I have two more images here that I can select, and we'll just call these Big Brother. Now, as soon as we name these people, that name becomes a special kind of keyword called a people keyword. If we view our keyword list, we can see that we can now filter based on people all of our keywords or everything but a person keyword. I'll go ahead and select people and then if I want to see all of the images that have that person in it, I can click on the arrow to the right of the person's name. Lightroom automatically filters by metadata on that specific keyword. Now there are two differences with the people keywords. If I double click on a people keyword, you can see that in fact it has this person option checked on. This person option is what enables me to filter just based on the people keyword. In addition, if I double click on this image and then I select the draw a face region icon here, we can see that people keywords are actually region specific. So this can really help us with identifying the specific people in a photograph because we can see which face is tagged with which. All right, let's move back to the childhood folder for one moment. I just want to move through here and make sure that Lightroom did in fact 
find all the faces. Now, if you come across an image like this, we can see that because I've got a profile view here, Lightroom was not able to detect a face. In order to draw my own face region, in order to identify it, I'll just make sure that I have this icon selected, and then click and drag over the face, and then start typing in the name. I can always add more than one per image, so we'll go ahead and name this one as well. As you can see, Lightroom's ability to detect faces and help identify similar people can certainly give us a great head start on finding the people that we want to tag in our photographs.